people of YouTube. So I wanted to uh, make another video today because I, I kind of, this is more like a vlog of me talking about my experiences um, on raw food. Um, so I've been on this journey now for about a year where I have started, I started gradually juicing where I was juicing and I would have a juice in the morning. Sometimes it would be a green juice, sometimes it would be apple juice, sometimes it would be carrot, apple, ginger juice. But I started with that and then I gradually moved into from doing juices to doing more intense juices like dandelion greens. Um, thank you Life Regenerator, Dan the Man, been following you and um, have been a great encouragement. So um, moved into that and then from there I started um, doing green smoothies and then from green smoothies then I started to introduce raw dinners so for those of you who follow me you know that I do green drink in the morning first thing mid morning I have a green smoothie midday I have um, some other type of juice whatever kind of juice and then midday, um, I start introducing like food, like I'll eat like, you know, snacks, like these are amazing. They're pizza flax snack crackers that are all gluten free, wheat free, nut free, and they are part of the Go Raw family. So I'll eat a snack, something like that. And I'm in the process of um, coming up with my own recipe for a flax seed cracker with vegetable pulp or some derivative of that. I'll film that and put that up for you guys to see. You're making some kind of onion bread or something like that. And I have that. And then, for instance, last night I made um, on romaine lettuce, um, avocado, onions. Maybe I'll film that so you can see, you know, because I brought some for lunch today, so you can see what I had for that. So anyway, so what I wanted to talk about was um, I'm trying to go 100% raw. And everybody talks about the energy and feeling vitalized and refreshed and wonderful and happy and I feel tired. Am I detoxing? Can somebody speak to this who knows more about the raw food movement? For instance, last night I went to bed at like 9 o'clock or 9.30. I was really, really tired. Um, today, you know, we are changing seasons, so I don't know if we're going in the autumnal equinox and moving into autumn. I don't know if that has um, playing a factor or if because I'm, you know, changing my diet, but I'm just, I'm having headaches. Um, I do a lot of physical activity. Um, I vary my activity between P90X and TurboFire, and I do a lot of yoga, Ashtanga yoga. And I find when I do my yoga that I get lightheaded, I get dizzy, I feel like I'm going to pass out. Now, I'm eating plenty. I know that I'm, you know, what I'm eating is sufficient to sustain me. But I just wonder if this is a, a, a byproduct of detoxing and if I need to do what Mr. Matt Monarch says from the Raw Food World TV show, if I need to detox and cleanse the colon. I don't know. I haven't done anything like that yet, but I wanted to put this out there and ask people, what do you think? Do you think it's that I need to detox and, and, and that I'm going through sort of withdrawals and my headaches and my dizziness and all that is a result of, you know, just cleaning out the crap in my body? I've had a full physical. I'm 100% healthy. I have, you know, a, a really low resting pulse rate. My blood pressure is excellent. I just had blood work done, like I'm in fabulous health. So it's nothing like that. I think that it has more to do with um, the transition of my diet. So if anybody wants to share in on this, I'd like to hear what you guys think. And um, it's good to see you guys again. And I'll see you next time with more holistic living. Bye.